No niin, arvasi. Tämä Black Blackwood oli aika aika eeppinen itse asiassa. Käsin kovasti sitä lisäosasta ja, ja niin kuin nyt tämä, että suoraan jatkoa siihen, niin se on vielä, vielä eeppisempi. Nythän tästä voi pela va vapaasti puhua, koska, koska niin kuin ei ole enää. Se on julkaistu, julkaistu tämä peli, tämä lisäosa. Ei ole enää embargoa niin kuin päällä ja muutenkin se oli, että vähän moraalisesti ehkä arveluttavaa puhua pelistä, jos se ei ole vielä niin kuin julkaistu tai lisäosasta. Noin. Pistetään chat chatboxi niin kuin piiloon. Ja tässähän alkaa niinku toi... Sori, ajattelin samaan aikaan kun puu. Niin, äh, sama, tää alkaa Far Cravista, mihin mikä löydettiin tuossa aloitusskenaariossa. Tämmönen Oblivionin <hö> ulottuvuus. Mulla on tässä mun roolipelihahmo. Hän on Hand of Almalexia, mu musta haltija. Ja tosiaan niin kun, millä mä oon pelaillut tässä viime aikoina. Ei ole tehokkaan mahdollinen hahmo, min maksattu. The Anchorite. You're as bothersome as that damn Tremora. No matter. The vote of rune is placed. And now you die. You brought this on yourself, Dagonist. Näin katuu velho. Are you the glowing hands? We have something in common. Ankuriitti. If you're not a cultist, we should talk. Hetkinen, sinä olet siis ankuriitti, eli etkö sinä palvele molakpoolia? Ehkä. Kannattaako tän kanssa nyt? No jo, tästä alkaa kuesti. Olan. Bringing their Mayrunes Dagon madness to Fargrave. Their votive runes infect mortals with dark magic. I came to meet someone about all this, dark and I magic. spotted that cultist, and my hands began to glow, just like yours. This is Fargrave, a city in oblivion with permanent and open connections to other realms. The cultists place those votive runes faster than I can destroy them, putting every mortal who lives here at risk. That's why I agreed to meet with the Dramora. Lirent, the Dramora. Uh -huh. She sent me a letter. Said the cult threatened Fargrave. Nern, too. She wanted my help, but I can't deal with that now. The votive runes are clearly the immediate danger. We should work together on this. I can pay. I need you to talk to my contacts. Madam Wim's establishment is here in the city. Initiate Tilgo meets me in the burn, out in the Deadlands. See what they know about the votive runes and the cult's plans. Then meet me in the Fargrave Crafting Plaza. Really? All I know is that she's a Dramora who has an interest in the Dagon cult known as the Order of the Waking Flame. Yo, no, no, This is where we were supposed to meet, but all I saw when I got here was that cultist and the votive rune he was casting. No. The votives mess with mortal emotions, make everything more intense. Huh. I'm not sure why. Lirant said the magic in her letter would allow her to recognize me. I think that's what the glow was. If only I could get the grasp to care about all this. The grasp of the stricture. They're an order of Daedra, mostly Dramora, who serve as arbiters and interpreters of the stricture. 
a magical covenant that allows Fargrave to okay, Far Grave on siis neutraali alue Oblivionissa. Hmm. Well, since mortals aren't bound to the stricture, the grasp pretty much ignores us, unless we interfere with the stricture in some way. As long as the cult and its votive runes only threaten mortals, the grasp simply doesn't care. Is it? I hadn't noticed. Look, we only just met. If you turn out to be trustworthy, I'll tell you the strange tale. If not, well, we'll deal with that if it becomes necessary. Perhaps. And maybe it's just a fashion statement. Now, go talk to Madame Wim and Initiate Tilgo while I make my rounds. I need to check on my charges around the city. As a crossroads, it's natural for people from everywhere to wind up here. I check on the mortals of the city on a regular basis, help them as I can. That's why Wim calls me the Fool of Fargrave, because I care. And it's why I abhor the Dagonists. Then you know the cult is evil. They appeared recently, proselytizing in the plaza. <sighs> then they started placing those votive runes. Some kind of prayer to Mayrun's Dagon. But it intensifies mortal emotions. The runes... Madame Wim is a dark seducer <laughs> has her thumb on the pulse of Fargrave. Nothing happens here that she isn't keenly aware of. Died from you asking. She deals in favors and information for a price. And the more you seek her help, the more expensive her services become. Nice. Mielenkiintoista. Initiate Tilgo is a member of the Order of the Waking Flame. He was my friend before the cult recruited him. Oh. Turns out, Tilgo's had a change of heart. He's been providing me with inside information about where the cult plans to strike next. No, mä annettiin niille selkään Blackwoodissa aika, aika kym, kympillä. Madame Wim runs an establishment in Fargrave called the House of Wims. Just be careful. She enjoys getting her hooks in new arrivals. You'll find Initiate Tilgo in the Deadlands, an area known as the Burn. The Plaza of Portals will take you there. The Plaza of Portals is one of Fargrave's most important locations. A series of permanent gateways to other realms in oblivion. One of those realms is the Deadlands, the domain of Mayrun's Dagon. Hmm. Glow seems to have faded. For now. Lemmikin pois. Galat. Scampi, on nimi. Joo, eli tää on Oblivion. Kaikki noi on jonkinlaisia taskulottuvuuksia. Tervetuloa Elderskorsin metafysiikkaa. Ne kuolemattomat oliot, mitä täällä asuu Oblivionissa on Daedra. Daedra. Se on niitten nimi. Tää kaveri on Dremora. Strixure Guard. Xivikyn. Ah, Far Cry on Outlast Refuse. Ja toinen Tää tässä on itse asiassa talo, minkä pystyisi ostamaan. Ää, käytännössä niin kun, Joo, pelirahalla voi ostaa, mut yleensä ihmiset ostaa niitä oikealla rahalla. Sinne itse asiassa pääsee, pääsee katsomaan. Mennään, mennään katsomaan ihan piruuttamme. Tää ei ole vielä, vielä myynnissä. Eikä vielä nähdä sitä kalustettuna. Vähän tämmönen itämainen kautta Red Guard tyyli. Mutta joo, tää on ilmeisesti iso talo ja tänne mahtuisi ehkä 
olisikohan 20 henkeä. Saattaa olla 12 hengen talokin. Eli sä saat niinku, jos sulla on kilta, niin 13 jää ulos, ellei se ole tämän paikan omistaja. Okei, siinä on tämmönen puutarha. Puutarha Oblivionissa. Ja okei, toi on aika isot kylkiluut. Tuo näyttää siltä, että tässä olisi jonkun magnageen, eli ensi ensimmäisten henkien niin kylkiluut. Ää, isoja urankoja. Joo. Far Grave. Että minkä, tää, minkä hauta tää on? Onko tää niin ensimmäisten henkien hauta? Vai onko tää vaan... Sakentium tauon. Eli tää on niinku semmonen, minkä voi omistaa ja... ...lesoilla sitä kavereille. Omistan talon obli oblivionista. Tykkään musiikista kyllä. Ihan tunnelmallinen. Fargrave, okei. Okay. Nyt mä hukkasin, hukkasin ulos tulonni. Tässä on jotain, jotain vinkkejä. Latausuutujen aikana. Bazaar. The little trinkets are back. All right. Why won't you Something terrible is about to happen. I just know it. Okay. Call the faking flame on Ehka. You're looking to purchase one of my creatures? Well, no stealing them. That's non-negotiable. Tää samaa hevosta. Joo, siellä on ne. <laughs> ja täältä voi ostaa noita mautteja. Mä otan ne kutsun itse asiassa mun kumppanin tänne paikalle kans. Muillakin pelaajilla näyttää olevan kumppaneita. Eli tää on, tää on se... Joo. Mm. How much trouble are you in? Aika pitkälti joo. Siinä on uusi lisäosa, niin paljon ihmisiä niinku pelaamassa tätä samaan aikaan. No discounts for heroes, I'm afraid. Or villains. Whatever your ethical leaning is, no discounts. I send the money I earn from selling packs home to my mother. You understand. Uh -huh. 46 tonnia maksaisi. Mä oon aika hyvin päivittänyt tän kasseja. Mä menen niinku tällainen tur turistimoodilla, koska, koska niinku kaikki ei oo todennäköisesti nähny, nähny yhtään esosta peliä, niin... Mielenkiintoisia kasveja. Ja ytököitä kaikkialta mahdollista. Oblivionin ulottuvuuksien kulma on loputtomasti, mutta niitä saattaa... Tai kolme miljoonaa. Mitä tietoa nyt haluakaan usko. Sehän on, että niin kun tää peli niin... Äh, Tästä ei ikinä tiedä, mitä pe pelin kehittäjät heittää sua va sulle vastaan. All 
of you. Stay away from me. Stay away. Täältä löytyy kans pankki. Pankki voi pistää omat romut talteen. Before you inquire, I am not planning on cheating you out of your money. We Daedra have more self-respect than you mortals. Saavan liikaa mukana. <köhön> Mun hahmoni. On tota noin niin kun Sanotaan nyt, että ihan kohtuu hyvä, koska on 752 levelillä. Että niin sanotaan nyt niin, että on, on, on ehkä joskus tullut pelattua tätä peliä. Okei, ehkä noin vaikuttaa ne kuolevaisiin. Mutta miten Dagonistit... Aikoo vallata tän, jos ne vaan pystyy vaikuttamaan noilla niin kuin kuolevaisiin. Ellei. Deikonhan on Daedra, mikä on kapinan, kapinan ja juonien. Daedra, niin. Okei, puhutaas. Lady, Lady Oikulle. Madam Beam. Lady Oikulle. Tässä näkyy. No niin, lataas nyt tekstuurit tässä. On. Onneksi poistaa tää peli nää muut pelaajat ympäriltä tässä. Katsotaas muuten. Oh, oops. Has anyone ever told you that you have what? Poor Josette. She's one of my favorite regulars. At least she was before the votives affected her. First she became belligerent, then extremely melancholy. Now she's practically mindless. But tell me, darling, what brings you to Madame Wims? <laughs> she did, did she? All true. Hmm. But I hate to brag. She's an unusual mortal, though, isn't she? Our darling of the alleys. And clever. She sent you so as not to increase her tab at the House of Whims. As a new customer, your first transaction is free. Ah, two topics on the lips of many a Fargravian. The Dagonists are mortal rabble with a fetish for destruction. The votive runes are prayers to their prince made manifest. Spells that seem to affect only mortals, like poor Josette here. An interesting question. Alas, I have no answer. But you're not the only newcomer to our fair city seeking such knowledge. My eyes about town tell me that Lyrant the Dromora has come to Fargrave. She's in the shambles, searching for Sister Seldina. You want more? I'm giving away an awful lot as part of your free sample, but I am feeling generous today. Sister Seldina leads the Dagonists here in Fargrave. Mm -hmm. She and Lyrinth seem to have it out for one another, though I have yet to ascertain why. As the name implies, I trade in eccentricities and capriciousness. I buy and sell as impulse dictates. My establishment carries indulgences from across oblivion. And information, of course. 
along with food, drinks, and an amenity for every appetite. Hmm? Oh, the mortal on the floor? No, I don't believe so. The spell is quite potent. I suspect the votive runes have a darker purpose than simply elevating emotions and turning mortals into mindless husks. Pity the grasp refuses to investigate. The grasp of the stricture. They enforce law and order in Far Grave. The stricture is a covenant that binds all Daedra and allows us to operate somewhat in concert. Since mortals aren't bound by the covenant, the grasp tends to pay them no mind. An apt description, if somewhat inaccurate. They do enforce Far Grave's laws, but in ways that won't always be comprehensible to the limits of mortal understanding. Try not to commit any crimes in front of them, and they won't harass you. Probably. <laughs> Probably. You came here without knowing, darling. How refreshing. Huh. Like an otherworldly conveyance, Fargrave personifies the existential concepts of transit or passage. Huh. It did start out as a strange nomadic realm, after all. That's part of the city's allure. It means if you want to travel the myriad corridors of oblivion, there's no better launching point than fabulous Fargrave. In addition to our famous plaza of portals, the entire realm is littered with dimensional access ways. Thus, we have no prince. Siis, siis tää olisi syy, että minkä takia Dagon haluaisi vallata tän taskulottuvuuden itselleen, mutta kun se ei voi olla niin yksinkertaista. Without a prince to set the laws and manipulate Fargrave's reality, we're free to shape this city as we choose. The freedom that affords us is sublime. But no prince means less chaos and violence in the streets, rogue cultists notwithstanding. Aren't they beautiful? One of our best teachers. No one is quite sure who or what they were, but legend has it they once carried the city from plane to plane, hence the allusion to a palanquin. Is it true? Well, the skeletons are real enough. A personal query? That will cost extra, my darling. Huh. I am a Mazken, what your kind commonly call a dark seducer. Unlike many of my brothers and sisters, I use my charms to beguile and entice for knowledge huh. and profit. I have no interest in violence. A terrible place. I urge caution if you decide to venture there. It's a warren of alleys, tenements and ruins, hidden behind thick walls. Many mortals live there in the most appalling conditions. But it can also be a good place to conduct business. Oh, innocent mortal. The kind of business best engaged in, where the grasp of the stricture doesn't reach. It's a perfect location to hide a Dagonist cult, seeking to cause chaos and mayhem. I'm surprised our darling of the alleys didn't mention that. Deals with the Daedra we don't discuss with the innocent. Sot Hasila. Uh. Darling of the alleys, fool of Fargrave, woman in the mask. Ever since the Anchorite arrived in Fargrave, she's gone out of her way to help the mortals cast upon our shore. And she asks for nothing in return. You see, I know so little else about her. Olisikohan se jonkun Daedra Princein aspekti? Tää huomioon kuka... It's rather rude of you to interrupt someone who is clearly quite busy. Vanha maskin. No, tää on vähän huonossa kunnossa. Joo. Now, what should we do with Joset? Hmm? Lady Oiko. Tää on aina, aina kun uusi lisäosa, niin täällä ei saa periaatteessa olla rauhassa. Monta muuta pelaajaa niin tekemässä samaan aikaan hommia. Tietysti se on vahvasti instansoitu, mutta tää instanssi näyttää olevan kiitettävästi täynnä. Okei. Okay.
Jippie. Mukava paikka. Turistimatkalla nyt me vitti ratsastaa. Deadlands. Mehruunes Dagonin paikka. Burning Girl Keep. No, tänne sen tää pääsee. person I was supposed to meet. What do you want? Explain yourself, stranger. The Deadlands isn't a place for chance encounters. The Anchorite promises to get me away from the cult in exchange for information. I hold up my end of the bargain and what do I get? Another fool seeking knowledge from Portilgo. This is the last time you hear. Make sure the Anchorite knows that. They don't tell lowly initiates all the details of their master plan. But I hear things. Sister Seldina wants to take over Fargrave. Make it an offering to Merun's Dagon. The votive runes play a part in that. Sister Seldina leads the Fargrave cell. She has a grand vision for the Waking Flame. It starts with Fargrave, but it doesn't end there. She wants control of the portals. With them, she can hand Lord Dagon all of a blow. Hmm. Even Nern would be in reach. The Dramora? She's practically all the Order's old guard talk about these days. Seems she's been causing a lot of trouble for Sister Seldina. Yep. Interfering with her plans. Something's about to happen. Tell the Anchorite. Fargrave's in danger. The Order has camps throughout Fargrave and the Deadlands. Sister Seldina could be anywhere. But tell the anchorite to check the shambles. Look for an abandoned building, someplace hot. I heard one of the devastators complaining about the heat. If we were talking about the deadlands, no. But the shambles is a different story. That section of Fargrave can't have too many places hot enough to make a devastator uncomfortable. The anchorite will figure it out. What? You assume every Dagonist is a true believer willing to do whatever their superiors tell them? Yup. Yeah. I joined up because they promised me a better life. A way to escape the shambles. But they lied. The Anchorite agreed to help me. For a price. Okay, pastan fancy If Sister Seldina knew I was talking to you or the Anchorite, my life wouldn't be worth a scab on an Ogrim's elbow. I want out! Look. Tell the Anchorite. She can find me at the bearer's rest in Fargrave when she's really ready to help an old friend. Tell the anchorite I'll be at the bearer's rest. She owes me, and I expect her to honor our agreement. Mielenkiintoista. No, tämä nyt ei näytä paremmalta elämältä. Kirjallisuus. Ah, tässä paikassa on kauppiaita. I am above you. You will not afford me the respect I am owed, then I will not speak with you. <laughs> Siellä on jalokki vielä. Ähä. Tässä on tapahtunut jotain, jaha. Äh. Muita. You want to converse before finalizing the purchase? How very odd. I will not talk to you except to exchange goods. Tell me what you would like. 
Nää on, nää on niinku pelaajakiltoja. We deal in mortal goods from this plane and others, Nern included. Some complain that our prices are too steep. They're not the ones who have to import the items from a separate plane of existence. I won't complain if you paid me extra. I didn't miss your chances of not being riddled with flesh wounds. Probably. No niin, pätevästi kun, kun, kummituskaupeissa. Daedra keep odd hours, and so do I. My shop is open all the time for my customers. Right. Are you trying to steal something from me? Take a good look at what's on offer. Make my day interesting, please. <laughs> yeah, good. It is safer for everyone now that mortals control the food supply here in Fargrave. The things Darza sells are much safer to ingest. Trust him. Okay, ni ni kuolevais se kontrolloi jotain asioita tällä Fargraveissa. Tietysti Darza ei syö. Tänne tänne periaatteessa tässä tarvitsisi syödä. Crafting paikassa voisi hajottaa noin vanhat esineet, mitä ei tarvi. Contract with Data. Over here, friend. Lord Dagon will visit disaster upon this ash. These new Dagonists are barely worth the effort. I followed them into the plaza and destroyed the votive rune before they even noticed I was there. And the grass decided to get involved, finally. Hey, did you learn anything from my contacts? Madam Wim didn't charge you, I hope. She usually lets you sample her wares for free the first time. After that, it gets... expensive. The shambles is a big place, but now we know more than we did when we started. Did you also make contact with Tilgo? Pod? In the shambles? Must be the old baths. The furnaces beneath the bathhouse have been burning forever. But what was that about the votive runes? How does Sister Seldina plan to use them to conquer Fargrave? Damn it! No one is going to conquer Fargrave if I have any say in the matter. I suppose we need to investigate the old bathhouse. If we find Sister Seldina, maybe we'll find Lirinth too. Let's meet in the shambles. We can discuss our options there. Once we enter the shambles, we can work our way together to the old bathhouse. The shambles can be a dangerous place, but it's also where the majority of Fargrave's mortals live. Warrens and dark alleys fill the area. There are three main paths through the shambles. We can take any of them to reach the bathhouse. And I said I'd tell you once I was sure I could trust you. Let's find out what's waiting for us at the bathhouse. Try to make contact with Lirinth the Dremora. 
After that, we'll see. Susi. Degonin riimu. Just that it's mostly abandoned. Hasn't been used by anyone but squatters and vagrants. It's isolated at the northern end of the shambles. Easy to secure and unbearably hot. The perfect location for the Dagonist leaders to plot and scheme. Let's see if we can get in through the courtyard. We're not getting in through the main door. Luckily, I spotted three potential entry points. Another door to the east, a cave to the west, and a bridge overhead that connects to the roof. One of those should lead to the bathhouse courtyard. door leads to the courtyard and isn't warded. Can you pick the lock? I never met a building with only a single entrance and exit. Let's look around the courtyard. There's got to be another way to get into the bathhouse. Because it's a big building, and big buildings always have multiple exits and entrances. Besides, we didn't come all this way to be defeated by a magical seal on a bathhouse door. Let's search the courtyard and find another way to get inside. What's the point of building great houses for your gods? Do people really think the gods can't hear them if they don't pray inside a stone building? Tosiaan niinku tänä kaupassa pystyy nanoikin oikealla rahalla pystyy niinku hommaamaan. Lootboxeja löytyy myös. That opening in the rocks. Maybe we can reach the caves below and get into the bathhouse from there. We should be able to find a way inside through the Undercroft. It runs beneath the bathhouse. <sighs> Another ward. I think we can get past this one, though. I have an idea. Unlike the door outside, this area contains everything we need to disrupt the magic sustaining the ward and dispel it. I've seen the Daedra use these crystals to do all sorts of things. I spotted a lucent among the debris in this hall. It's a daedric crystal that can absorb and store the background energy that pulses through all the realms of the Ah. We'll need that to get started. Okay, eli Oblivion ja nytten Daedra Prinssin energiaa voi tallentaa kristalleihin, jolloin niissä on niinku sitä, sitä juuri sitä jerkkua. Then take the lucent to the dynamis font over there. Dynamus. That background energy I mentioned? The font absorbs it. Place the lucent on the font, and it will fill it with the charged energy. Finally, insert the charged lucent into the discharge labyrinth beside the door. That will release the energy from the crystal and disrupt the ward. That's the idea, anyway. I've seen the Daedra do all sorts of things using lucents, fonts, and labyrinths. Remember, find the lucent, charge it in the dynamis font, then place the charged crystal in the labyrinth beside the door. Once you understand how lucents function, you can use them to accomplish all sorts of things throughout the realms of oblivion. As I understand it, lucents form naturally in the void and occasionally rain down on the various realms. Some say they're actually crystallized bits of oblivion. Who knows? I've seen Daedra gather them, charge them, and make use of their energy. Well, as long as you have lucents, a dynamis font, and a discharge labrum, you can use the energy to open gates, ignite furnaces, operate torture devices, all sorts of things. <laughs> We're going to use it to overcharge the ward on that door and dispel it. Look, I just observed how the Daedra used them. The dynamis font is sort of like a spring. Instead of water, energy wells up. Could be an astronaut trapped in there. Or maybe it's the ambient dynamism that flows through the space between the realms. I'm not a Daedric scholar, all right? I just know what I know. Dynamism. 
I heard the Dramora talking about it at Madame Wynn's. It's what some call the energy of oblivion. Or the energy in oblivion? It's confusing, but it's energy that we can use. Yeah. Basically, when you plug a charged lucent into the labrum, it releases the energy stored in the crystal. Most of the labrums I've seen are integrated into some larger mechanism. I'm not sure what this one was originally used for. You could, but you'd also get a destructive explosion. Better to control the release by using the labrum. Besides, the lucents can be used over and over again, but not if you shatter them. Boy, deep. Okay. That's definitely a lucent. There is now take the lucent to the duck. Place the lucent in the dynamis font, and it should fill it with energy. Damn it, That did it. Look how the crystal crackles with energy. Now place it on the labrum. Insert the charged crystal into the labrum. It worked! And now you know how to use a charged lucent. Let's see what's behind that door. Again. I see my spell brought the help I requested, but I didn't expect there to be more than one of you. Ah, my simple spell finally yields results. Huh. I was hoping it would bring you to me again, little mortal. I do so appreciate working with known quantities. But who is this other mortal who also carries my glowing brand upon their flesh? The Anchorite. An unusual appellation, even for a mortal. You must be wondering why I summoned you and then failed to be on hand to greet you. When I heard that Sister Seldina had arrived at their headquarters in the shambles, I had to act quickly. You can plainly see that I did not. Finding this location took more time than I expected. And even then, getting inside has proven difficult. But now that we're together, I suspect we can make short work of any obstacles and locate Sister Seldina. My reasons are my own, little mortal. Suffice it to say, I want to determine how Sister Seldina plans to utilize the votive runes to seize control of Fargrave. She wants to use its many portals as a gateway between the Deadlands and Nern. Don't hear me, you can get it. Even a Dromor of my talents cannot hope to stand alone against the Dagonists and an army of living disasters. Mm. I seek to learn Sister Seldina's secrets. You want to protect the mortal realm from total destruction. Together, we can accomplish both. She's smart and ruthless. A powerful combination in a mortal. She commands the Dagonists here in Fargrave and oversaw the creation of the Cataclyst. With that device, she plans to create an army of living disasters to unleash upon Nern. 
Daedra empowered to unleash destruction upon the mortal realm and make it easier for Mayrune's Dagon to conquer Nern. Did you know he's tried before? Yeah. Dagon broke an agreement, and the doors between the Deadlands and Nern were sealed. He can't use them. Ah. Ah. Mielenkiintoista. Eli... 29.20 Last Year of the First Era Kirjasarja Elder Scrolls on, on, ähm, online, äh, Onlineissa ja muissa peleissä Kertoo siitä äh, Kuinka niin kun, äh, yksi, yksi tarina on se, että kuinka niin kun Dagonin hyökkää ja tuhoaa Mornholdin Mikä on mustien haltijoiden pääkaupunki äh, Tekee sen välittömästi sen jälkeen, kun Sothasil on periaatteessa estänyt, eli mustienhaltioiden puolijumala on estänyt sen, että mikään daedra prinssi ei pystyisi täydellä voimalla ilmestymään Tamrieliin, Nirniin. Niin nyt tämä implikoi tässä näin, että siinä oli jonkinlainen rangaistus siitä. No niin, arvasi. So-called living gods of the Dark Elves supposedly made a pact with various Daedric princes to protect Nern. I don't know the details, but Dagon broke the pact. Sothaseel slammed the doors and closed off Dagon's actions. Everything about Sothaseel's pact is rumor and speculation. So that is what I hope to determine, and I want to examine the Cataclyst. The attack on Fargrave could begin at any moment. Shall we enter the next area and see what Saldina is up to? No, oh, it vanished again. The spell has run its course. The glow will not return. Now, to deal with this ward. Come, I sense activity in the chamber beyond. Dramora again. Well, you're too late. The ritual is almost complete. Uh, you leave Dagon's blessing reverberates among the Bogavoons. Soon a wave of destruction will sweep over Fargrave and Don't destroy panic. the Daedra. We day can do this. Stop! The ritual must to destroy us? the Daedra. Mortal, My destroy the Bogavoons. All you're taking us. Hyps. Ja näitä vaan. All that work ruined. You will pay for that, Tremora. You and your companions both. Sister Seldina got away and we're right back where we started. Nowhere. Nowhere. How quickly mortals succumb to despair. Let's talk in the next week. Take a moment to look around. Sister Saldina departed in haste. Certainly she left something behind. I did not think Sister Saldina capable of performing such a powerful ritual. You did well, mortal. A few more moments and the magic would have exploded across Fargrave, leaving the city defenseless and destroying all of the Daedra, including me. Yes, but she fled in haste. That means she probably left something behind. Let's search this bathhouse. Bring me whatever you find. Sister Saldina's abandoned paraphernalia may be of use to me, and it may tell you more about the threat to Nern. From what I could devise, the votives elevated the emotions of mortals in the city, siphoning the energy generated into Sister Saldina's ritual. She planned to use that energy to destroy the Daedra, including the Grasp, leaving the city defenseless. That would accomplish nothing. The Dagonists are experts when it comes to disappearing into the shadows. Sister Saldina will pay for her various insults soon enough. 
For now, see what she left behind when she fled. I hate that we let Sister Seldina slip through our fingers, but Liren's right. She probably did leave something important behind. Let's look around. Teleportatu viirimetin matkalta. Tell me what you found, and I shall determine if it has any significance to my quest or to yours. Hmm. Nor can I. And while your literacy may be in question, mine certainly is not. This is no language, mortal or Daedric. It is written in code, one used by the Dagonists for their more guarded correspondence. No. And neither could any lowly recruit we captured off the streets and tortured for information. This code is reserved for the Order's elite. We'll need to find someone who can decipher it. I'm sure Fargrave must have someone with those skills. We should leave. The cult's forces may have scattered, but no doubt Sister Seldina will send a force to try to deal with us. We should not be here when they arrive. Perhaps the Anchorite can suggest a place for us to meet up, safe from prying eyes. What I seek still eludes my grasp, so our business is not yet concluded. You ought to be grateful. I can be a powerful ally when the mood strikes me. I will meet you back in Fargrave. I'm sure the Anchorite knows someone who can decipher the code. Let's meet at the inn in Fargrave. There is rest. We can talk privately there. So you really came all this way to stop King Flame from destroying Fargrave? Something like that. An unusual city, Fargrave. Hmm. They say those huge skeletons are all that remains of the beings that once carried it from place to place. This inn is named after them, I believe. But why are you speaking to me? Ask the Anchorite about a codebreaker. Codebreakerista. Pitäskyisö. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that. Finding the leader of the cult, watching as she almost completed a deadly ritual, and then allowing her to escape. I never fail like that. And all we have for our trouble is a coded message. Maybe this is Fargrave after all. The city connects to everywhere. Madam Wim must know someone here who can help us with that. In the meantime, we made a deal, and I always honor my commitments. Here, you earned this, my friend. <laughs> 